Carl Abbott joins me today. Carl, welcome to Middlesex and of course here to Lords. Uh, what are you making of the place so far? Well, I'm telling you there's, there's no better ground in the world to, to have as your home ground and um, it's, a, it's an honour to be here and I'm really looking forward to getting on the park and playing at a place that I've, that I've watched on TV for many years and yeah, like I said, it's, it's, it's a huge privilege to be here and a huge privilege to play for Middlesex. Fantastic. I guess you've probably had the chance to meet all of the Middlesex squad by now. Uh, you've not been here too long. Have you settled into life at Middlesex? So yeah, far? Um, guys have been very accommodating. at had a first training session yesterday and um, lucky enough to know a few of the South Africans, or at least there's four of us now, five of us there in the team, I think. <laughs> <laughs> seems to be the trend of English cricket. I, I was going to say, I think some of those might claim to be Englishmen now. <laughs> um, so, yeah, they've, they've, everyone's been very accommodating here and, um, yeah, it's been a, been a good few days and, and looking forward to get going and, and doing the business. Well, Carl, your first time here, um, you're, you're looking around the place, you're going to be coming out here in a few hours' time, playing against Kent in the NatWest T20 Blast, how special is that going to be? Yeah, it, uh, it always has a sort of aura about this, this place walking on, even when it's empty, so um, when, it's, when it's full tonight or a few people around, it's going to be quite exciting, and uh, oh, nothing better to, to kick off with the T20 game. Kent's always a, a tough opposition, looking at their lineup yesterday at practice, um, some big hitters in there and they line up and some skillful bowlers so I think it's going to be a good test for us but uh, what better what better place to do it. Indeed. Uh, Carl you've played around the world in some of the biggest T20 tournaments uh, the Champions League the IPL last year you played down with Hampshire at the Aegeus Bowl uh, in the NetWest T20 Blast what do you make it as a tournament? Yeah I think it's excellent um, for one I think the, the crowds the crowds behind the team's here I was very impressed with. Um, a lot of the smaller grounds you, you feel like there's, there's more people there than there, than there actually are. So uh, from, a, from an atmosphere point of view I think it's, it's pretty similar to second to none uh, from around the world which is great and uh, a good standard of cricket um, especially with the overseas I think it, it certainly beefens it up like, like most competitions around the world. Um, so yeah looking forward to some good competition over the next couple of weeks. Good man. Well, you uh, you reached the quarter-final stages, I think, last year with Hampshire. You, you haven't seen much of the Middlesex boys, but I guess you've looked at us as a side before arriving here. What do you what do you make of us? Do you think we've got what it takes to, to get out of the group stages this year? Well, I mean, looking in the past, the, having won the competition, um, there's always potential to to go further and and win it again or, or get into the, the playoffs again. And I think it's about playing smart cricket. Um, we had a chat yesterday, and, and Walt said that the talent in the squad... The, it's second to none and uh, it's just how, how we're going to be able to manage that and, and get the best out of the guys and I think with Morgs as, as captain it's gonna, he's going to leave from the front and hopefully get the guys get the best out of the guys and yeah it, it should be an exciting journey to, to get to for the next stage and maybe make some history again. Good man. Carl, for those Middlesex fans that don't know you, uh, what are you going to bring to the party for Middlesex? What should we be looking forward to from you over the next few weeks? Um, well, hopefully some aggressive uh, aggressive bowling up front with the new ball. Um, looking to try to strike in the first six is, is my, my aim. Um, and then closing out innings up the back, I, I take on the responsibility as a death bowler um, to my detriment sometimes. Um, but, you know, it's a it's something that I've taken on, it's something that I enjoy, um, it's a challenge, so hopefully close out a few games, a couple of those tight games that the batsmen sometimes get up their hand on, hopefully I can swing in the middle six to play over there. Carl, oh, that sounds great. Mate, thank you very much for your time, all the very best of luck tonight, thank and thanks you. for joining us here at Laws today. Thank you, thanks, no problem.